Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining us. This is Key 77 coming your way again. Um, we are so happy you can be part of this episode. We want to remind you that the book Key 77, um, the book 77 Questions Before You Say Yes is out. Um, it can be um, ordered from Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. You can go ahead and click the link underneath this video and order your copy. We also encourage you to share our videos. Um, we believe that uh, discussing questions with your partner is very, very important. And if this is helping you out, I'm sure somebody else would benefit from it as well. So go ahead and share and like our videos, of course. So in our last episode, we kind of um, <clears throat> realized that when we are discussing our financial uh, obligations, there are needs and there are wants. And that's what uh, this episode is all about just delving a little bit into uh what a need is and what a want is so uh i'll go over to sam and ask him what does he think a need is in his life because you know men are different women are different as well we we, we have our priorities they have their priorities so here we go what do you think you know this topic is not going to end today and i'm 100 percent sure of that we're going to bring in even Possibly third and fourth parties to also help us to discuss yeah. this. We want to know everybody's view because the whole idea of need and want goes um, deeper than we can actually even um, assume. What do I mean? Um, a need is something that I believe you cannot do without, or if you leave that particular thing out, the consequences or the cost, opportunity cost lost, will be very great. So we try to prevent it from happening. With a want, that means that possibly, even if I don't get what this particular item is, nothing major will happen. So an example of what I can assume could be a need could be to pay for your electric bill, especially in the West. If it's in Africa, it's a different story. But even that is also about the same. Because if I don't pay for my electric bill, it's going to cause the electric company to shut off the electric bill. And believe me, in this place, sometimes it gets so cold, mm -hmm. it can even cause all of you to have like hypothermia mm -hmm. and it could cause a far larger hospital bill than the extra three or two hundred dollars you could have spent to have paid the bill now yeah. to have actually solved that problem. So those are the things that I will see in my point of view as a need, even though it is still debatable. But still, for couples, most of the time, sometimes the need and want becomes a major issue that I think I'm so happy we are bringing this up. And I know it's not going to end today, but that is <laughs> my simple definition. Um, it is a good one. Um, I think uh, it's. I think sometimes the conflict comes about when we've actually dealt with the need uh the major things and you're trying to see what else can we do to make ourselves more comfortable so do we go ahead and take the vacation or do we buy extra clothes for the kids that is a good one you see that is a major one that i have come to realize that also brings a lot of disagreements between most couples because sometimes in the minds of most women i know getting extra clothes for the kids is a need because they are the ones possibly helping to get these kids dressed up and they see little little errors going on with their clothing they can notice that possibly their pants are getting shorter and you know the shirts are getting tighter even these are things that mostly men don't recognize so in the woman's mind it might be a need but at the same time the man is like you know it's about time I get a break. I've been hustling my life away and I don't see why not the need to just go spend that money possibly um, somewhere in Vegas stripping on some, you know, um, gambling or something like that to make me happy. So that becomes an interesting topic to discuss with the spouse to say, look, hey, which one is the need, which one is the want? Are you going to live your life, your whole life based on just solving problems of needs? <laughs> Um, well, if the need is, uh, like you said, it's something you cannot do without. So, for instance, talking about kids' clothes, over here, we have four seasons. So, 
we just went through summer it is fall now it's getting an each and its way to winter so the temperatures are dropping so in this case the kids will need jackets and not any jacket but puffer jackets so you know it's a major need because they are required to go outside for recess and if they don't have the proper you know um attire on we come back to having to take time off when they're sick pay extra bills you know why why the hassle why extra hassle when you can just put that little money into making sure they get what but you know they need taken care of you know from the start instead of waiting until the problem creeps up and then we have to solve that problem so and it can be but sometimes you know sometimes that's... not to catch you but um sometimes people also look at it from the economics point of view like we used to happen when we're in africa I've seen some parents who actually buy clothes for children that they can wear for the next two years. Have you seen that before? Those times you see people come to school with their belt holding onto the shorts so it doesn't fall because if the belt should get loose by mistake, the shorts is all coming down and you can see everything the wall underneath. I would say to that, it depends on the environment you're living in. Because over here, where we are now, if <laughs> there's a safety problem, you have lost seat following you up. Um, based on, you know, maybe an inappropriate thing that, you know, the kids are wearing. Big jacket gets caught up in the door. You know, something. So, it, it has to... I do see the wisdom in getting clothes um, <clears throat> that's a little bit bigger than what they are wearing right now. So, they can go into it. Um, and I'll also say that there also is a way of dealing with stuff like that when... You use wisdom and wait till major sales are going on because uh, and then you buy whatever it is you need at a very low cost instead of waiting till it's expensive because you know the market changes over here you know it's, I don't know about back there so much but a little bit of wisdom you know is needed and then weighing the pros and the cons of what it is that you want to purchase or pros and cons of taking that vacation right now, pros and cons of staying around and doing something else with that money. And you, you should be able to talk about it. Um, I mean, been, we've had some, you know, interesting times uh, where we weren't really agreeing on whether we're doing it this way or that way. You know, all it had all boiled down to, do we have the money and the means, you know? Um, I'm trying to think of, you know, a practical example that we had in the past where, uh, I felt this was rather neat than, you know, vice versa. It just isn't coming. And I, I, I don't really remember whether I was insisting we buy clothes for the kids or taking a vacation at some point in time. But um, that can be, you know, when we hold strong opinions as to what should be done in a particular case. Because to me, if the kids need extra clothes, I'd rather not take that vacation right now. But to him definitely different and so you know it, it also means compromising i mean which... you could say that when it comes to you know not so much of a need but in between a need and a want maybe this year we'll focus on your need or, or your want and then the following year we can focus on accomplishing that of the other partner so there's a little bit of balance and there's a little bit of peace if you're working towards it then you know will accomplish that. I understand. I mean, that's it. That's it. Sorry about the phone call. Um, but, you know, that's a good point she just made. And it ties into what we talked about in the chapter four, about what financial obligations do you have? At the same time, what are your primary sources of income? So possibly another way would be to uh, possibly look into um, having other sources of income to subsidize, to help buy the wants. But I mean, it's been great. Yeah, that's right. It's been great. Let us know what you think, you know, look, based on Let me know what you think, Nathan. We're going to continue. We're going to need and want again. We're going to have the part two. And we're going to discuss further into what is going on about needs and want. We're going to get some more people involved. Share the video. Share this video. Share it, share it, share it. And get a copy of your book. Okay? It's also available in Ghana now. All you have to do is just get on the website, www.key77. It will direct you as to where to get a copy of the book from in Ghana. Thank you very much. Thanks.